Good morning. This is Marty Gabler and Melissa Gabler, and we are bringing you some scriptures from Morning Victory in this Christmas season. This is scriptures from Morning Victory, and we are calling this one Good News and Joy. And you know the good news and the joy are one person, Jesus. And we want to encourage you today. I've asked Melissa to read some encouraging scriptures to get us going through this morning and through the rest of the holiday season with a sense of victory from God's Word. Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to mm. us a son is given, and Thank the government God. will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. What a beautiful moment and time. This is, this is a time of year, particularly here in America, that we celebrate yeah. this, this promise, that this straight out of the word, this promise of what was to come. But as we sit here on the precipice of a new year, can I just say, we're about to realize the actual truth of what this eternal promise means mm. on a whole new level. So be it. And can I just speak blessings into your home right now? Thank you, Father. Blessings of renewal. Yes. Blessings of awakening on Receive a whole it. new level of a good and eternal God that sent his son so that you could not only prosper and be blessed, but so that you could bring his kingdom to this earth. Mm. And I just speak that blessing over you. You mm -hmm. were made to bear his kingdom on this earth. And right now in this moment, I pray that lives be Thank awakened to that. Souls yes. be renewed and awakened be to awakened. the truth of why you're here. Thank you, Father. We, we take moments like this in our year to, yes, we sing carols and yes, we give gifts. But the truth is, mm -hmm. it's a reminder of why you're alive. You're alive to bear his image mm. and bring his kingdom to this earth. Amen. Amen, Melissa, that's out of fine. Let me move to Matthew chapter 1, verse 20. It says, But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Wow. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Holy Father, we thank you. <laughs> Melissa and I rejoice in being saved from our sins yes. at a young thank age you, and able to live in this glorious walk with our Lord and Savior who was born of a virgin. Yeah. Thank you for that, Father. Luke chapter 2, verse 16. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph. And the baby who was lying in the manger, when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things in her heart and pondered them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Galatians 4 verse 4 says, But when the set time had fully come, God sent his Son. There's a lot of stuff on the internet. When was Jesus born? He was born here. No, no. Uh, this, I, I can tell you exactly when Jesus was born. It says right here in Galatians 4, 4. But when the set time had fully come, the Father had a set time. And the Father has set times for you in your life, your family, your ministry yeah. throughout this day, throughout the week to come, throughout 2024, as Melissa said, getting ready for the year that is upon us. Uh, God has set times for you. Mm -hmm. 
Look for them. Trust him in them. Pray about them. When the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. Oh, Holy Father, we thank thank you you for that adoption. (laughs) We are in the family of God. Thank you. We have victory as family members. John 1, 14, love this Mm. scripture now. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Mm. I think that is the name Emmanuel. Mm. (laughs) God with us, Emmanuel. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of Mm. grace and truth. We have seen his glory working in our lives, in our family. We have seen his glory working in many, many others. We've seen his glory working in this earth, in our community. God is working by his manifest presence, by his uh, manifest character traits, his Mm. attributes. He is manifesting his glory in this earth. Peace on earth, good will to all men through Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you, a merry and blessed Christmas to you and your family. May it be the most cherished Christmas in your memory. Amen. God bless, we're praying for you. If God be for you, who can be against you? You have victory through Jesus Christ, the one who was born as prophesied. Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.